Hello, I'm Jack at Downs Autos and this is a Ford Ranger Wild Track Carbon Look Edition. So this particular vehicle is in the white, it's got the contrasting black and carbon Raptor kit on it. Uh, as we go around now, I'm going to point out some of these features to you in, in close up as well. So uh, front end, it's got that Ford Raptor style front grille with the Ford lettering. You've got that lower bumper bar as well. Uh, we can also arrange a bonnet scoop if you wanted a bonnet scoop on this vehicle. Um, what I think is really nice on it, so it's got the carbon look kit on it. So you've got that wide wheel arch kit. You've got uh, 20 inch alloys with brand new all-terrain tyres. And with that carbon accenting, you've got it on the air vent as well and on the front and rear light covers. Um, lucky for you, it's not actual real carbon fibre. If it was real carbon fibre, it would be sort of an extra £20,000. Uh, but you've got that sort of carbon fibre look without having to pay carbon fibre prices. Um, it's the new shape. So with the new shape, you've got the leather interior with the wild track embossing on the seats. It's a really low mileage vehicle. It's got touchscreen navigation. You've got um, heated seats as well. So let's just keep going around. As I said, alloys are totally unmarked. You've got brand new all-terrain tyres. On that rear, you can see you've got the, again, that light cover on the rear. So it's just got really nice detailing on this vehicle. Um, in terms of the actual spec, you've got that Ford tow bar as well, if you want the tow bar. And then just close up, looking at this, again, this trim. It's a really nice finish. So a lot of the time you will get them with the black wheel arch kit or sometimes you get them body coloured. Um, it's a bit rarer to have this, this effect on it as well. So I think it just makes it stand out from your standard wild track vehicle. Um, right, so a bit more about the spec. So you, uh, being the new shape, you've also got the brighter front lights. You've got those LED uh, daytime running lights. You've got front and rear parking sensors. You've also got a rear camera. It's keyless entry, keyless start. So key can stay in your pocket and the vehicle unlocks. Um, electric driver's seat power fold wing mirrors, auto lights. Uh, it's nice low mileage, uh, 6,785. Uh, on that right hand display, whilst we're here, you can see the driver assist settings. So you've got lane keeping, pre-collision warning, um, traffic sign recognitions, that's quite nice. It tells you the speed you're in on a bit little, uh, little sign that tells you if you're on a 40 or a 30, for example. On the left, you can have navigation, entertainment or phone. Obviously sat nav, as I mentioned earlier, you've got uh, that rear camera, you've got front and rear sensors, heated seats down here for the driver and passenger, USB. This is the 10 speed automatic. So with that, you've got a sport mode, you've got your standard automatic mode, you can change gears yourself. You've got switchable two wheel drive, four wheel drive high, and also a low gear ratio, as well as all your other features like diff lock and uh, um, start stop functionality. You have air conditioning, uh, what I want to show you is the menu on here as well. So you get, uh, let's have a look, sources. So you get digital radio, DAB radio, as well as your CD and your Bluetooth. Um, and then other features such as um, obviously your phone. Actually, if you connect your um, iPhone or Android Auto, it connects those systems as well, Android Auto and um, Apple CarPlay and things like ambient lighting. It's very car-like as well, so you can adjust things on, on the ambient lighting. Um, You've got an armrest there, you've got a cup holder down there. Uh, let's just get in the rear. Cruise control as well and speed limiter, I forgot to mention that. Uh, there's your lane keep assist. In the rear, again leather. The orange stitching is the classic wild track uh, stitching, so you've got that contrast there. Down there you've got the plug socket as well. Uh, you've got isofix points on those rear seats if you want to fit child seats. And I think let's just go back around to the front view, which I think on the road, front front end view, these Rangers with the Raptor kit really do look a nice vehicle. So if you've got any particular questions or want to know what's coming into stock, just contact me. Uh, I've got other Rangers in stock as well. So just um, give me a call. My name's Jack at Downs Autos. Thank you very much for watching the video.